So I'm super pumped for another video on this truck because today is actually going to mark the first day we're actually going to start somewhat of the actual build. This is my 58 Apache known as Blue Goose and we are going to be starting on it today and we're going to be doing some rear suspension work. So I acquired this parallel four link here with my 67 C10 but I think we're actually going to be utilizing that on the Apache. We're going to be doing a bag build kind of similar to the 64 here. So the plan is we're going to get that parallel four link on this unit and I acquired a nice Explorer 8.8 .8, has the disc brake conversion. I'm thinking it has the 373 with like the limited slip so we can do away with the old floater back here get this thing lowered on down. But the first thing we need to do when you get this bed off start getting things sorted hopefully tomorrow when it's daylight we can go up to the house pressure wash that frame down real good so we don't have a bunch of nasty stuff then we can start ripping and tearing and hopefully get that explorer rear in in this truck god i think eight bolts we got to cut through here and we got a lot of wiring and everything else but most of the wiring is pretty crude anyway i don't know how much of that i'm gonna actually try to salvage because it might just run all new Here we go. That dang hood slamming scares the crap out of me every time. got the bed off it didn't go over without a hitch I guess you could say I've used that little C channel method before on other beds and stuff like that and it worked great so I don't know it let go that time but no harm no foul but as you can see we got mud dauber nest everything and just caked on grease so I'm gonna try to get this thing up tomorrow we're just gonna pressure wash everything off real good the majority of everything on this frame is going to be removed except for the main rails themselves. Uh, we might end up keeping this cross brace here, but we'll probably end up removing this one for the fuel cell. And we may even have to remove this one for drive shaft clearance once it comes up. I don't know if it'll, you know, start rubbing into that. Might have to go up and over us or something like that. But we will be putting one back in there and then. We'll be running our parallel four link, probably on the outside here. Out here you can see the bed is laying in the weeds and that's pretty much our end goal right there. We're looking at something kind of like that old girl right there. And I think it's gonna be a very fun build. Um, it's not gonna be this episode. This episode's fully focused on the rear portion, but I have a really cool thing in the works for the front and I can't wait to show you, but I don't wanna get the cart too far in front of the horse and let the cat out of the bag before I finalize all that. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go get some rest and then tomorrow we'll pressure wash this unit. We got the Apache all cleaned up here. Now we're just gonna start ripping and tearing on the suspension. Got shocks, drive shaft, brake line, and then just gonna take all the leaf springs off this thing. I measured this thing real quick. To get this thing to where basically the body is gonna be essentially laying on the ground where we want it, 
Uh, it needs to come down 16 inches from where it is. Later in the video, we'll calculate all that out for our notches and everything, but that's gonna be a pretty big drop. Well, just like I was worried. This thing's got nuts on either side of it, so it's not wanting to break free on this other side. <laughs> I'm trying to keep everything kind of together on this thing. That way, if anybody reaches out and says, hey, I'd like to have those leaf springs, I'm redoing one of these, they can have them. If not, we'll throw them in the scrap pile. It don't really matter to me. <laughs> Allergies. So far, so good. Not. All right, it seems like a lot of this stuff is just completely seized up. I'm gonna be taking the shackles off this frame anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get ahead of the game and we're gonna just go ahead and start whacking these these uh, rivets out. We'll just remove the whole shackle assembly and everything all in one go. I don't think the neighbor dogs like that. Oopsie. One down. That's one way to do it. Get another blade. I'm gonna try to jack this thing up a little bit. Apparently, it's not up high enough right now. I'm try to get this up a little higher so we can drop it down a little bit and hopefully roll that rear end out. I think that's gonna do it. Guess we could make it an extra long little base, huh? Nah. We're free! Free at last! Well, I dummied up just a little bit, which I don't think it's gonna be a big deal, because I think we can find it online, but I didn't pull a wheelbase measurement. Just kind of hastily got into this and didn't mess with it, which that's something you want to do before you do this kind of thing. Would have been even good to kind of find the center of that wheel well before we cut, took the bed off. That way we know where to put our wheels at whenever we're kind of at ride height or laid out, however you want your truck to look while you're cruising. I kind of dropped the ball on that one, so uh, I'll kind of pull some measurements and stuff like that off that bed and we can kind of center that axle up according to that. Pretty solid night. I'm gonna do a little cleaning here. Then I'm gonna hit the hay and I will see you guys out here tomorrow. Alrighty, we got the 8.8 pulled up here in the garage. And as you can see, it's very complete as far as leaf springs, still has a sway bar on it, and all that good stuff. So what I need to do now is I need to get in here, get these leaf springs off, get the sway bar off, get the leaf spring perches cut off, and just kind of declutter this thing so we can slide it up underneath this and start kind of figuring out where this thing is going to need to be.
spent a little time buffing around on those axle tubes off camera there and it's pretty cleaned up as you can see um, I'm gonna get this mess cleaned up because it's a pretty good one and we're gonna try to slide this thing under tonight and hopefully we can see what we got going on and then hopefully tomorrow we can start fitting that parallel four link I showed you in the other room there Woo, we're getting there <laughs> got the rear end slid up underneath here and getting four link parts together my buddy Jay's over there hard at work what he is doing is this 8.8 uh, .8 here is actually like a three and a half and our four link is made for a three inch axle so he's coping that right now because as you can see there we get a little bit of a gap we need to make some room for that the master at work Alright, so I think Jay and I have the rear end and it's forever home here. We got to research and watching some videos and everything. We've got our pinion angle back here set at four and a half up and then coming out of the carrier bearing it is four and a half down. So they're kind of on a parallel plane. That's what we agreed on, right? Should be good. So we've got our parallel links here kind of mocked up. We started picking them up and kind of putting them on. That's going to be our next line of attack gonna get them up on here and start kind of tacking them on welding them in and all that good how far off do you want it do you want it you want to bring it out towards the wheel a little more or how much of a uh, I think I'm gonna keep it to about right there. That way if I have something a little bit wider you know. Yeah. We could go in a little more if you wanted to. It's up to you. travel the suspension just to see how everything's going obviously this is, might be a little higher than what will even be in the future but looks pretty good to me I'm good opinion angles not changing no yeah yeah brother we are back out in the shop obviously Ran over to the Hobo Freight real quick and got us some welding wire. Because as you seen last night, we ran out and had to resort to the TIG. 
Also, a huge shout out to Jay for coming and helping. Definitely gave me a hand. Sometimes just a second set of hands on stuff like that helps and second opinion. It's been a while since I've done any air suspension like this, so it was good to bounce some ideas off of him. But I'm going to pull everything off this rear end and everything real quick. That way we can final weld it without burning up all of our bushings because we got everything pretty much tacked in where it's going to need to be. So I'm going to take those things off real quick. Then we can start full welding everything out. So we got everything full welded out and it's looking awesome. That's gonna probably wrap this one up. Behind me, I've got some old step notches that I welded together ages ago. And I think I'm gonna just try to utilize those for time's sake. But that is gonna be the next episode. So that brings me to this. If you wanna follow along with the Blue Goose build, make sure you follow along by hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, cause that'll help more of these videos pop up and share it with your friends if you think they would enjoy this kind of content. But I'm going to get busy on these notches and hopefully airbags. See you on the next one. Get out and work on something. See ya.